guys, this is Zora of Water. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, oh my god. I had to walk all the way back to Poseid and back. And I also finally got the stupid achievement and got the stupid sigil. Right here. I made sure to save like five times over. God, that was annoying. I can't believe I overshot it by 150. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Last time, we we picked up a lot of things that we missed, whether it be Albed Primers or just all the Jet Spears that got unlocked. Um, if you have anything you need to do, there's probably like a giant list of things on the screen. I don't know. All of those, make sure you do them now before going forth if you are playing the HD remake or an international version of the game. If you're playing the normal North American PlayStation 2 game, you don't have to do all that. I pr promise. Trust me. It's only with the international and the ports. Anyways, I digress. There's a lot of uh, spirit grid stuff I have to do. I So, I actually lost out on a bunch of experience and whatnot, mainly because I kept on running from battles. Freaking. Not being able to control encounters is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. So, like, most of that, especially when I was doing that, um, thunder dodging. Oh man, that would have been so great with, uh, no encounters. But no, I, d I can't have access to that ability quite yet. So, there's that. There goes that option. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here. Just gonna clear up some of the spear grit. And I'm gonna move Titus down because I really want that Hestega. Is Hastega or something or rather? Who man? Oh gosh. Wait, have any okay, I still have a bunch of ability spears. So yeah, right now, um, after I sort all of this out, I am actually gonna go up on the northern path of Makamania Woods. I don't remember there being too much up there. But you know what? Doesn't hurt to kind of explore for a little bit. I mean, we have to come back up there at some point anyways, I just don't know when. Okay, so making Yuna, making her way downtown. And just putting some more spear grids. Oh my gosh, I also got a lot of items with uh, Riku for a little bit. Um, since I ran into so many encounters, I just said screw it. You know what? Why don't have Why don't I have Riku get a bunch of uh, items for me to um, steal off of her? And it worked relatively well. Okay, hang on. So that's that. That's protect. Um, I don't want to work backwards, so I'll probably yeah I'll follow Yuna on this little spear grid and see what happens with that. So shell. I'll, I'll probably find my way backwards at some point. Just move down here. More MP. More magic. This is what I need. I don't know how this is gonna go. This is deviating a little bit off of what I usually do. Then again, what I usually do is just follow, <laughs> follow the path. Jesus Christ, I have a lot of spear levels. And I'm not even done yet! Ah. Uh, so I'm gonna move over here, get these spear levels. Because this is a dead end route and I'll never come back here, most likely. Okay. Then move my way back here. Do I have anything to. Yes, I do. Um, HP and strength. Why not? I forgot I had all those spears. Probably from when I was doing that lightning round. Actually, if that's the case... Uh, moving over here... Okay, so Walker has all the magics just in case. And now I should move back down here. Uh, let's see... Nope, I moved Titus too far, so... I'm gonna use... an HP Spear on you, Riku, because you are quite frail. That is HP 300? Really? Holy moly! 
Let's look at their stats. Oh, good gosh. That's actually really good. I... I'm... Oh, I was about to say, I'm still concerned that Tidus is under 1k, but that's because I forgot to heal. Or maybe... No, it's, it's probably because, um... I increased their HP and that didn't cause a lot of heal. So I actually got a lot of good weapons because I also started k killing uh, Cactars. And one of them was First Strike, which uh, it's as I thought. Even in an ambush, I'm guaranteed to go first. So that definitely helped things out a lot. Um, I do need to rearrange a few people so that we can start leveling them up a bit more. Alright, so with that said, let's go up on the upper path. This is only unlocked when you, uh, when you beat Spawn. Fear morph, and it just kind of, it's like a, it's like a shortcut to spear morph area. It's easy to get to Makalania Temple now that this road's open again. Unfortunately, this lady will not let us pass that way, but that's fine. We don't need to go that way just yet. I believe we can still run into monsters on this upper path. Or at least I keep on thinking that's the case. I don't know how true that is, but it's very much a shortcut. All the way back to the end of the area. All the way over here. So, I... Don't need to save, but I just wanted to do that just to recover some MP and whatnot. And we're gonna go straight! Everyone, welcome to Lake Makalanya. Ah! Awaka! Hey! Curse that rim for taking up a place like this. He'll be rich by tomorrow, all on account of this celebration thing. Hmm? What? You buying something from me? Great! I knew I could count on you, lad. Alright, what do you got, Awaka? Uh, oh, that's a better first strike. Oh, that's so nice. I'm I'm actually considering buying that. Uh, Kamari's not so much of a magic user. Uh, there's Riku yet. Um, Poison Ward, I don't think I have a need for that yet. Silence Ward, I actually don't remember what enemies coming up would actually start trying to silence me, but that would be nice. Uh, Stone Ward. Oh, right, freaking having them petrify me 24-7 was annoying too. Oh, uh, this HP, oh, the Soldier Charge is really nice. Okay, hang on. Give me a second, Awaka. I need to actually reorganize my everything. Because I did get a lot of those... A lot of equipment. So give me one moment. Alright, so I actually sorted out all of my equipment. Just to figure out what exactly I want or need. So let's see. I think... No, re um... I mean, theoretically I could buy that. But that's fine. I don't think I need it right now. Uh, just in case I need a silence. Uh, I don't think the silence ward's gonna do anything. Um, I really do want this, so. Because I don't know what I'm gonna use the secret Targ for at the moment, so for now I might as well replace it with that. And look, it's Clasco! Hi there! Would you look at this? They always leave me behind. Oh, you want me to scratch you? There. Good boy. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? Honestly, chocobo breeder, you definitely know what you're doing. Yeah, I think so too. Hmm, you know, I might just give it a try. Alright, so unfortunately there's a treasure just over there, and Glasgow is blocking my way. Son of a monkey butt. Oh great, now we're definitely getting into the ice enemy, so uh, I don't like how you're staring at me. Okay, so let me just go ahead and take care of all this. No problem. No problem indeed. Holy moly! There's the dilation! Okay, so that... I was completely wrong on that part back in the, uh... Oh, that's not good. Waka, what happened to your... Right, you're more of a magic user now. What the hell am I saying? Uh, if that's the case, Kamari, can you hit it? Any chance you can hit it? Nope. 
Can you hit it? Oh, Jesus. And then, um, oh wait, you have magic, so... Dang! Okay, can I... Will this do anything? Because I really, really need to use Tidus's overdrives more. Because that is the only way for him to get new overdrives. Like that! Sweet! It's still a single target overdrive, but... It's gonna help out a little bit. So let me just go ahead and sort out the spear grid just real quickly. Alright, so there's that. Now I can kind of follow along Orin's path a little bit more. Tidus needs to go down and somehow is getting magic- Oh, he's getting MP. That's good. Uh, and I think that's about does it. I know there's now a bit primer there. Don't mind me, I just need to come inside here real quick. Oh look, it's a little fireplace! Okay, so let me just heal real quick. Don't forget to smile, remember? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'll try and remember. Oh, Yuna looks very distracted. Also, this is the smallest doorway in the goddamn universe. And there's ice skates here. I'm actually surprised that there are ice skates. Temple not far. Why stop here? Well, excuse me for wanting a break, Kamari. Anything can happen. Make sure you're prepared, right? That was the greatest... That was the greatest expression. Uh, look at this! We have a polar bear skin. I... Whoa, hang on, hang on. No, that's not what I want. Sorry. My bad. Seriously? A wedding's not supposed to make people feel this bad, huh? Come on, don't say that. Hm. Uh, I say what I want, ever since I was a kid. Oh, so you're an adult now? You know it. Yuna's really quiet. Oh! I've heard Lady Yuna is to wed Maester Seymour. It is great news. I'd like to congratulate her. But it is a pity. I'd hoped Lady Yuna would defeat Sin and bring the calm to spare him. Yuna's still gonna journey, even after she's married. Ah, oh, that is also great news. Her resolve is admirable. Now, you are not the person I wanted to talk to. Stop pushing me! Can we go now? I'm tired of waiting. Alrighty, alrighty. We can go on ahead. Uh, anything special? Ooh. No, I already have that. What am I talking about? Wait. Why is there a normal longsword down here? Nah? Okay. Alright, so if you need a save, I suggest you do it now. I think I should be fine. So, let us go on ahead. Before we go on ahead, though, I'm picking up that primer. Gimme. I'm not gonna forget about this one. Lady Yuna, we've been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying, even if I marry. Do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. Well? We must follow Grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. I... We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. Hmm? That was your line. Yuna! 
Yes, sir! Oh, no! I'll bet! Okay, so things are going downhill real quick. Um, oh, Jesus. No, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. What I was about to say is, if you want to save now, it's kind of your last chance to do it. As well as talking to a walker back there. Anyways, I digress. Um, I need to reorganize people. I don't know if I can put a unit back in my party. I think I can. But let me just, um, uh, I don't know a good way. I actually, actually, I think, no, I want to at least have Riku out there. So let's try this method and see how that goes. Stand back. <laughs> Thank you. Lady Yuna. Good Christ, I really hate this boss, as well as any other person who really likes to use their aeons of magics. So, here we have, god, what is it called again? The Crawler! It's... It's a crawler, it's a machine, it's a machina. Um, every so often it will spawn a negator. This will negate all black magic as well as... Actually, is it black magic or also healing magic? Let me check. Nope, it's any sort of magic. Okay, that's really bad because I was gonna use haste. That's, huh, okay. And I can't use Lulu's overdrive because you know what? It's counted as magic. So yeah, um, unfortunately your only way to defeat this is either using Riku and her items or to use Waka and his ball. So there there goes a lot of um, options out the window. This thing has 1600 HP and it's weak to- Oh, it's weak to thunder, not water! Oh, I goofed! I goofed! Okay, so this thing is also- It's not resistant to thunder, which is what I wanted to hear. So, if that's the case... Okay, so one more will do it. I need to uh, hurry up and change this into a lightning strike. So after that, one more, and I'm Gucci. All right. Yuna, you can use magic and call aeons now. Oh god, they all have voice lines now. Crap. Okay, first things first. I'm hasting Waka, just in case anything happens. I'm gonna need this man to help me out. Uh, I actually don't know which is stronger, his attack or whatnot. I don't, I will, I don't believe any of these specials will work too well. So, let's see, if I do a normal attack, it's 142, and oh, Jesus. Yeah, by the way, he hurts. He hurts a lot. Oh, right, that's why I hated this guy. That's why I hated this guy so much. You can steal lunar curtains from him. I... What happens if I use magic? Actually, what happens if I use drain? That's, a, that's enough HP. Okay, I'll take that. So, yeah, he has a few... You dick. He has a few skills under his arsenal. He gets really dangerous when um, his ne his negator's gone. So what I need to do is actually have Yuna out here, just in case. We're gonna have to, we're definitely gonna have to switch up with a bunch of Aeons. I I feel like there's a good way to do it without relying on Aeons, but until then I'm gonna rely on Aeons. So I'm going to speed her up. Do I have protect? No, but I have Shell. Fortunately, that is not gonna help me here. Uh, I do need Kirapwaka, so let's go ahead and do that. 
We're gonna beat him in one turn. So you have to keep an eye on the turn so I can do one skill with Yuna before I'm forced to summon. Unfortunately, I really don't have much I can use with Yuna. Oh, damn. Uh, does anyone need healing? No? God. You know what? Take this! Shoot. Well, there goes my plan. I might actually die. Uh, if that's the case... Oren, I'm gonna need you to come out here. Oren, I'm gonna need you to guard. Because this is gonna hurt. Sorry, it's been a long time since I fought this boss, so I wasn't entirely sure what was gonna happen with this. Okay, enough fooling around. I sort of remember what I'm doing. I'm using the Mega Phoenix, screw you. Oh, and it revives them in full HP, that's nice. Okay, anyway, seriously, stop fooling around. I cure up Orin. I also set, um,. I could have swore I set Yuna to healer overdrive mode. Maybe not. I am actually gonna do a power break on him. He's gonna hit like a truck because apparently he has a counter. Never mind! That's immunity! Okay. Jesus, you hurt. We have beam in two turns. So the good the good thing about this is uh his mana beam will actually get interrupted if he summons another negator. That's a really good thing. I just don't know when he's gonna summon that. I just really hope he summons it soon. Uh, let's see. I also don't know if it counts as magic, so I'm actually gonna put a shell on myself and see what happens. Just in case I hit another mana beam, actually. Uh, let's see. Do I need to heal anyone? Technically, I need to heal Orange just a little bit more, so. Actually. No, I'm gonna go ahead and use Shell on Orin as well, just for giggles. Okay, so I can't break him, which is most unfortunate, but I can attack him. That hurts. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna summon Ixion, and after I summon Ixion, so... I think once an Aeon's on the field, Negator can't really do much. Negator can still spawn? Or maybe it can't, and he's just gonna keep on trying to use Mana Beam forever and ever. Mana Beam is horrible and terrible, and it kills things, as you saw with Kamari and Orin there. So, the most common thing is to summon an Aeon and put it in shield. Especially an Aeon that can heal itself, actually. Unfortunately, Ixion will not get any increase in his overdrive, but you know what? It does not matter. Alright, so he doesn't have any abilities on him. How, how much does he do for an attack? 500? Use assault. Ooh, Jesus. Maybe even three turns. Luckily, he's not using any skills, which is great. Heal myself. Maybe even two turns. Maybe in one turn. Okay, I'm gonna put up no shield. I could probably kill him with just Ixion alone. Alright. So what happens if I use Thunder on you? How much will that do? Dang! Maybe in three turns. Let me just heal myself. I'm actually gonna bide my time a little bit. So, okay. I can't guard. I'll just do shield. Maybe one turn. So what I'm gonna try to do is something very silly. Shield one more time. I'm gonna take the hit. Okay, now I'm gonna use Thor's hammer, and oh, I should have one more turn before he uses Mana Beam again. And if that's the case, I can heal myself, 
and try to build up my overdrive without dying, unless I run out of MP. How much damage will this do, actually? Dang! Oh, that was max damage. Oh, he's gonna assault, though. Oof! Alright, three turns. Two turns. One turn. Yes, I do have an air opening. Shield. So, hopefully I can keep this up for as long as I can have Ixion out on the field. Actually, I could probably kill him out pretty quickly. Um... Hell, if that's the case... You know what? No. No, 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 no. That's gonna be too easy. I wanna show off his other, other moves. I, I promise you, I'm not screwing myself over for doing this. I did not expect to hit max damage on an overdrive. So he actually has a few other things on his arsenal. I'm really surprised he, I'm really surprised he hasn't done it yet. I think he, he has to respawn the negator in order for that to happen. Which, by the way, real surprised that he hasn't summoned the negators right now. If it doesn't happen here, I'll have an air clip where, he sh where I show off all his other moves. So what does attack reels do? Oh, that's terrible. Damn it. Okay, so that's actually my first time using Walker's reels on that. Holy crap, that was a... Uh... That's gonna be annoying real quick. Alrighty, um... Let me just... Can I see if I can steal one more thing from you? Ooh! Another Luna Curtain. Wait! No! Hang on! Apparently you didn't like the fact that I stole from you. Okay, so if that's the case, let me get Yuna out here. I want you to do the thingy! Why aren't you doing the thingy? Okay, so apparently I never switched her overdrive. What? Did I die when that happened? Probably. No, seriously, I want you to do the thingy. I can kill you at any time now. Do the thingy. You're either gonna spawn a negator or you're going to hit me with a machine gun. Do something! Ah, uh, you know what? Here I am trying to show off a bunch of things and you won't even do it. Not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna summon the gator? Okay, fine. Fine, I'll just put you out of your misery. I'm actually disappointed at how easy this boss was. I've had so much trouble with this boss before. On the bright side, I got a lot of spear levels. Yeah, so at, probably at the end of this episode, I will show you all of his other moves and whatnot, because that was pretty pitiful. Milady. Riku! Efem dan vidran! Aistra guardian of Yuna, Wika! Yuna kva! Fafem kindran! Krak kva! Two drag ye moha, Kegden. <laughs> I told him I was a guardian. Well, I guess I had to, really. How come you speak out bed? Why? Uh, well, uh... Because I'm out bed. And that was my brother. You knew? Mm. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We knew you'd be upset. This is great. I can't believe I've been traveling with an Albed, a heathen. You're wrong. We have nothing against Yevon. But you Albed used the forbidden machina. You know what that means? Sin was born because people use machina. You got proof? Show me proof. It's in Yevon's teaching. Oh, not that you know. That's not good enough. Yevon says this, Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? 
Well, then you tell me. Where did Sin come from, huh? I... I don't know. <laughs> you badmouth Yevin, and that's all you can come up with. But... That doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. Nothing will ever change that way. Nothing has to change. You want Sin to keep coming back? There might be a way to stop it, you know? Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? If we keep faith in Yevon's teachings, it will be gone one day. Why do I even bother? Riku. Hmm? Will this move? Yes! We're not using that, are we? Wait. Sir Aron isn't out bed too, is he? Come on, Waka. What? I mean, getting angry just because you found out Riku's in Al bed. You guys got along fine till now, didn't you? That's different. I mean... Well, I don't claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the Al bed, but... I know Riku's a good person. She's just Riku. No. Just think of this as an opportunity to learn more about the Al bed. Ha! Let him go. Give him time to think. I'm sorry. You've done nothing to apologize for. All right, let's ride! You sure you know how to drive this? Better than Kamari does. I hope that you're not too mad at Waka. Hey, not at all! <sighs> Thank you. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's... fun to be with. <laughs> that all? <sighs> well, I can tell she's not a bad person. Yeah. You know what the problem is? She's just another Albed to Waka. Waka's head is as hard as a rock. I bet it's because of Yevon, or you know, something like that. Well, there's more to it than that. Hmm? Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother Chaku. Oh, he used a Machina weapon, right? And got killed by Sin. Killed. By my old man. Damn you, Jack. What? No, nothing. Hey, can someone like a human become sin ever? I can't say that I know. But why? Just a thought. Sin is the punishment for, and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. Uh, so no one really knows what it is. There's no need to know, so no one asks. You run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? I mean, you don't even wonder? <laughs> you really do come from a world where there is no sin, like you say. Okay, so that was a really long episode. Um, really fun fact about that, uh, sled ride is you have a chance of actually having Riku ride alongside you if you actually raise up her affinity enough. Um, more than likely you'll probably have Lulu since you only just got Riku recently and the chance of you getting more affinity with her than Lulu is gonna be slim to none. I don't know if there's any other possible cutscenes that could happen. I know I've had Riku once, I don't remember how, um, but that's beside the point. We have a treasure chest over here and I'm gonna pick it up. It has a mega potion. I'm really sad that that boss fight was like pretty lackluster because I summoned Ixion. I, it, this is my first time actually having Ixion do max damage against it, so I was actually under the impression he was gonna get killed instantly. Nevertheless, um, this, at the end of this episode, you'll see all the different moves and whatnot in case you don't use Aeons, unlike me. As well as, I actually don't know if I'll be able to get to 
the alternate um, cutscenes for this episode. But I'll get to it eventually. That'll be the end of this. This is Zora of Water signing out. I will see you guys in the next one.